Hey guys, it's Alex, how you guys doing? So today we're gonna talk about cheating and the types of people that cheat. A lot of you guys and girls have talked about the type of person that would cheat. I've actually been the victim of someone who says, nah, you look like you're, you remind me of someone that cheated on me in the past so I won't go out with you. Almost as if they can tell who cheats based on their appearance. So I wanted to share a couple of stories or a story, eh, a couple of stories about women I went out with who I later found out were married and you would have never thought these women would have cheated. Like never in your life would you have thought this woman is a perpetual cheater, habitual cheater. This woman is, you know, a uh, housewife, does not, you know, takes care of her kids, this and this and that. Anybody can cheat. So don't think that just by appearances sake, the person won't cheat. So let's talk about the first situation I came across in my dating life where I found someone that I wasn't really serious about, but I wanted to, you know, have fun, meet people and see where anything went. Because sometimes when you're looking for a relationship, you just don't find it. So this person was in their mid thirties and I met them at a function. I'm, I'm going to keep details on the, um, on the vague side for obvious reasons. So I met them at a function and uh, we hit it off. We had a great conversation. We were just having a good time talking to each other and nothing uh, came about about dating, relationships or anything like that. We were just basically just talking and getting along. Later on, we found each other on Facebook. Maybe I think uh, we had a mutual friend on Facebook and it is weird when cell phones are together, when you have a cell phone in close proximity to someone else for a long time, I don't know. I don't know if there's some algorithm that throws stuff out there. All of a sudden, they're friends and they start popping up in your news feed and you start going, okay. Anyway, she came across my news of uh, my news feed uh, based on, you know, having a mutual friend and we struck up a conversation. At this time, I was single maybe six months coming off of a five year relationship. But the last thing I was thinking about was getting into a relationship. Now, I never asked her the questions about being married. I never asked her any questions like that at the function. But then when we talked on Facebook, obviously she was an attractive girl. I asked the questions then. So that's when I decided to uh, apply for Sancho Plumbing Services. Only those that know, know that company. Sancho Plumbing Services, um, it's a dangerous, dangerous occupation. So you gotta be careful if you do end up working for Sancho. So after me and her struck up a conversation, we ended up getting together. Now, remember guys, this person was married with kids. You would have never thought this woman was going to cheat. The way she acted, she was like way into her kids' lives. She was all this stuff. Basically checked off all the boxes of a dedicated housewife. And come to find out, if she met the right guy, she was willing to cheat on her husband with him. Now, I didn't ask too many questions. I wasn't one of those emotional guys that got up in her business and asked her, why are you doing this? Would you do this if we were together? No, I was working for Sancho and I was just out in it for, uh, for, for a fun time. Now, the funny thing is the gymnastics these people would go through in order to catch themselves not cheating. Understand this. She had a lot more to lose than I did. She had a home kids potentially and the father of the kids she she put it all at risk to hang out with me now a lot of you might say why did you go into that situation i'm single i'm just out there having fun i'm not looking to ruin purposely anyone's relationship but hey if someone is throwing vagina at your face you're more than likely going to go yeah let me hit some of that and she was an extremely beautiful woman so about the last thing i was going to do is go oh no you i didn't know the guy i didn't know what the hell the guy looked like so i didn't care Again, it's a dangerous occupation work, working for Sancho Plumbing Services. So she would go through everything. She would go through everything to try to hide the fact that she was hooking up with somebody else. She would hide um, her location. She would turn off her location. She would hide some of the uh, security stuff around the house. I'm telling you guys, 007, when it came time to get piped down by Sancho and keep it away from hubby. As far as I know, he never found out. Guys, I was hanging out with her for two years. Two years, not every day, not every weekend. Not, it was just, hey, when it was available, when we were both together, da, da 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 I wasn't in a committed relationship. So I was more than happy to partake in that fuckery because I was having fun. The point is, she was such a model housewife. 
you would have never thought, ever thought she was doing some trifling stuff. And I'm saying in the car, in the park, everywhere it went down. So it wasn't really a thing. Now, that's one situation where I was like, it opened my eyes. I said, anybody can cheat. Anybody can cheat. So a lot of you guys out there and girls that avoid certain people because you think they might cheat on you, I think that's the wrong way of going about it. And I'll tell you another story from another woman. She was an Indian woman, dot, not feathers. She, I thought, because she was Indian, there's no way she would be married. I met her on a dating site. When I got single, about three months after I got single, I was traveling up uh, in another town, and I was in there, and, and when you're in another town, you start you know, working it up in that area and see what you can find. So I met a woman who was an Indian woman from India. Now, if you guys, I don't know what kind of Indian women you guys come across, but there are some absolutely stunning, beautiful Indian women out there. Very beautiful, long black hair, super dark skin, kind of European features, but just the, the contrast was unbelievable. So we struck up a conversation on a dating site and we started talking and we, I was staying, I would stay up there a couple times a week and I'd grab a room. So I said, well, let me grab a bite with her and see how everything goes down. In that restaurant, she said, I'm married. Now, I don't know anything about Indian culture. I have no idea about Indian culture except the food is phenomenal. Um, but I don't know anything about the culture. Afterwards, I found out about the culture. I thought it was very traditional and I thought a lot of the marriages were arranged and I thought, well, come to find out a lot of them are arranged if the family come from, you know, high status. So she came from that. Her husband was a businessman. She wasn't in love with him. So she wanted to get some side bicho. And I was like, what now? I thought to myself, I'm only up here a couple of times a week. I don't care. It's not going to affect me. Let me go out there and have some fun. And once you got to know her, you were mind blown that this woman would cheat. Mind blown that this woman would cheat. She seemed to be like a model wife. But she, me and her struck up a conversation. We got along. We had a lot of conversation going back and forth. And I think she thought for a little while, maybe I can leave my husband for me. And I shot that down, not right away, because if you shoot it down right away, you're not going to get anything. But she's the one that's trifling. So whatever, she's lying to her husband. I'll lie to her. Sure. Yeah. We'll see how everything works out. End up getting together. And it was a great time. Did that for like six months. So there was a time where both of them intersected, where I was, be, I was with a married woman from another town and a married woman in town. And both of them were like model wives. So if you guys are out there and women denying certain men the ability or chance to get to know you because you think they might cheat or you, they remind you of someone that cheated, understand this. Everyone has the ability to cheat. You're never going to find out exact. You're never going to go by a look because the two women that I ended up uh, getting with that were married while I was working for Sancho Plumbing Services... You would have never thought ever that they were capable of being unfaithful to their husbands. So don't just think, well, this guy will cheat. How many of you men have, or women have met a guy who you thought was safe, big fat load, but maybe makes good money. And then he ends up cheating on you anyway. And you're super devastated as to why that happened. Because it, why would this fat guy cheat on me? He's fat. Well, that's not how it works. It's how you treat the person and how strong the relationship is is that dictates whether they'll cheat or not and how open the communication is. So it is an interesting dynamic avoiding people based on a look thinking that they might cheat versus dating someone safe and they end up cheating because I was in two situations early on in my dating life where I was with married women that looked so innocent, so cookie cutter, like ideal housewife, but they were out there trifling munching on the bitch all left and right. All right, guys, thanks for listening. Uh, I'll be doing some more standalone videos for the dating channel. Hopefully, guys, you guys enjoy, and it'll be a good, fun year of standalone videos going forward. Thanks for listening, guys. Talk to you later.